as Commission and EEAS had announced before, this was not a business as usual summit. It was certainly no panda hugging event. It was more tense and more controversial than at any time before. And I'm happy that the European side did raise all the hot button issues, as you said, um, High Representative. And I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank you for the support that you have given to those sanctioned wherever they are. This online summit will, in hindsight, be seen as the one moment in which both EU and China dropped any illusion about win-win cooperation. No more go along to get along. No covering up the deep divisions. We clearly are in rivalry territory now. It has been China's behavior vis-a-vis -vis Russia's aggression against Ukraine, finally, that laid bare how big the distance has grown. China has formed a revisionist axis with Putin to overturn the multilateral rules-based order. China objected, together with Russia, against the European security order. China, in the case of Lithuania, also dared attacking the holy grail of the European Union, namely the single market. There is clearly a need for us to push back. And I like Mr. Winkler's language about the pushback. And there shouldn't be any hesitancy. We should not just implicitly talk about possible sanctions if they support Russia, but explicitly. Xi Jinping played hardball at the summit. He played a cynical game. He demonstrated that he does not respect the EU as a partner. They do not want to accept who we are. But when they call for more autonomy, they will get a real geopolitical player. We will have to realize that the tough summit was just the opening of an era in which tough is the new normal, and we need one common European-China policy to master that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Butikoffer.